Hi guys, it's Miss Sammy. And it is getting close to a certain holiday. It's a really good holiday. Do you know what it is? Hmm. It is not Halloween. And it is not Christmas. It's almost, you got it, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and oh my goodness, I'm so thankful today. I am thankful for the beautiful clouds in the sky. It's so gorgeous today. I'm also thankful for my hot, hot coffee that I got to drink this morning. <laughs> so hot, so hot. And I'm also thankful for my big white cat. I love him so much. His name is Mr. Okay, so let's see which book we have today. Oh, before we have our book, we need to do our breathing. So put your hands together. Take a deep breath in. Breathe it out. Ooh, two more, two more. Breathe it. One more, one more. I'm already feeling better. I'm already ready. Breathe it in. <sighs> Breathe it up. <sighs> Ooh, blast off, blast off. Okay, here we go, here we go. What do you see? What? I know I see a bunch of animals. Which animals do you see? A bear? A bird, right? A bunny, ooh, this is a badger. Ooh, look at an owl. Oh, I think it's a gopher. Maybe that's a gopher. And look at the little tiny mouse. And how do they feel? Good job, they're all happy. They're all having a party, it looks like, huh? Let's see what the book says. Who wrote this book? The author, let's sing our song. The author writes the words, the author writes the words. Hi ho, did you know the author writes the words? How about the pictures? Who drew this bear? Who took out their colored pencils and markers and drew this bear? The illustrator, let's sing our song. The illustrator draws the pictures. And he makes a pretty book. I'm not just gonna sing it one time, one time, because I sang the author song one time. Okay, let's see what this book has to say. Bear says thanks. Ooh, I see his feet. Hmm. Hmm. Bear says thanks. <gasps> hmm. All alone in his cave, Bear listens to the wind. Put your hand up to your ear. Do you hear the wind? I hear it, I hear it. Oh, but guess what? He is bored, bored, bored. Ah, oh, and he misses his friends. Hmm. Oh, but you know what? He says, I could make a big dinner. A feast that I could share. Ooh, that's a good idea, Bear. But he looks through his cupboard, and the cupboard is bare. Hmm. Is there anything in the cupboard? Wait a minute. I see a spider web. But is there any food in there? No food. The cupboard is empty? Hmm. Then, all of a sudden, Mouse stops by with a huckleberry pie. Mmm, you know what? Let's eat our pie. Since it's almost Thanksgiving, let's eat our pie. Do you like huckleberry pie? Me either. It's gross. Do you like pumpkin pie? You might like pumpkin pie. Guess what? I don't like pumpkin pie. Oh, but guess what? He stops by with his little teeny tiny huckleberry pie and Bear says, 
Thanks! It's goodness me, a delectable pie. Mmm. But he stops and he thinks about it. I have nothing, he adds with a sigh. Hmm. What did the mouse bring him? A pie? What is the bear? What does the bear have to give him? Nothing. Uh -oh. oh no, he looks, how does he look here? He's like kind of laying down. He is laying down. There's the mouse. But who's gonna stop by here? <gasps> oh, and just then they hear hi ho, and they both see hair with a big batch of muffins. Mmm. Grab your muffin. Take a bite of your muffin. Let's take another bite. Mmm. Make sure to chew really good so you don't choke. Oh, at the door. So he's bringing muffins. Oh, and hair hurries in from the cold. Show me cold. It's so cold. And the rushing wind, the bear says, oh, thanks. Thanks. Of course, says the hare, and then he points at the door. Somebody else is here. Who could it be? Oh, it's Badger. Badger? Oh, what does he have? Here comes Badger. He's got even more. Whoa, Badger. Brr, says Badger as he comes in the door and he sets down his pole and he smiles real wide. Ooh, show me a big smile. <sighs> I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole. What did the Badger bring? That's right, he brought fish. And the bear says, Thanks. Hmm, there's the badger, and there's the rabbit, and there's the mouse. Guess what? Up from the ground, a gopher and a mole. We have warm honey nuts. Let's pass them around. Warm honey nuts. Hmm, let's eat some of those. Let's eat three. Another one. And another one. Mm, they're kind of good. Do you like them? Give me a thumbs up if you like the warm honey nuts. Whoa, they're all there, but guess what? There's a flap and a flitter and a flurry in the den when in flutters owl with a raven and a wren. We have pears from the tree and herbs to brew tea. Oh, he's bringing a pear. Do you see the pear? It's a fruit. Let's take a bite of the pear. Hmm, that's really good. That's really good. So wait a minute. What did the mouse bring? Right, he brought a pie. What did the rabbit bring? Hmm, what did the rabbit bring? Oh, that's right, he brought muffins. What did the badger bring? Hmm, what did the badger bring? Uh, oh yeah, fish. You're right, he brought fish. Um, and then the gopher brought warm honey nuts. Good job, good job. And then the bird brought pears. Oh, but wait! The bear says, wait! Oh, and he mutters and he stutters and he wears a big frown. Look at his frown. Show me your frown. And Bear sighs and he moans and he plops himself down. He says, my friends, you guys have all brought me such yummy treats. You were so nice to share. But me, I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. What does the bear have to share? You're right, he has nothing. He has nothing. But his friends come around him, look at his friends, look at, and the mouse squeaks, don't fret, there's enough, dear bear, you don't need any food, you have stories to share. So what is the bear, what can he share? Can he share food? No, he doesn't have any food, but he can share his stories. 
Oh, and look at this is my favorite part. Look at they're all hugging. His friends hug him tight. It will be all right. And the bear says, thanks. Give yourself a big hug. Ooh. Good job. Oh, and then guess what happens? They lay out the feast. There's the feast, a whole bunch of food on a quilt on the ground. And the bear takes a seat while his friends gather around. They got a lot of food. In a cave in the woods in a warm, bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend bear. And they pass around platters and they tweet and they chatter, chat, 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 chat. Look at, he's a happy crow and a happy badger, and a happy, I don't know what that is, warthog, gopher, huh. And this is my favorite, the bunny drinking a hot cup of coffee. And they all say, thanks. Isn't that a good book? They're all thankful. Did the bear have food to give? No, since he didn't have any food, how did he feel? He felt a, he felt a little bit sad, huh? Because he didn't have any food to share with his friends. But his friends cheered him up and said, it's okay, it's okay, you share your stories, bear. And it was all, they all had fun. And why did they have fun? Hmm. Because they were together, that's right. Hey, so I want to wish you, oh, I want to know what you're thankful for. So you make sure to share with your family all the things that you're thankful for. But I want to hear three, three things that you're thankful for, okay? So you tell your family at least three. It might be 25. Anyway, I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you next time with some Christmas stories. Bye, guys.